just look at these two birds. And they're just gorgeous. I'm not quite sure whether they're trying to eat food from each other or whether they're just having a nice little kissing session. They're so sweet. One of the things I love to see whenever I come up to the Pukikura Park Children's Zoo and go through the free flight bird area. I couldn't even tell you what type of parrot they are, or parakeet, I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up on the internet, but they are absolutely gorgeous and they have no trouble with me standing here watching them. Hello again. Today I want to do another comb swipe and I'm going to dirty pour the colours into this cup, good old Starbucks, <laughs> reusable, and I'm going to just randomly pop, pop the colours in until I've got them all into the cup. I've got approximately 100 grams of each colour, and then I am going to just uh, pour it straight down onto the canvas, which isn't actually a canvas, it's a piece of foam board already prepped with white paint and it's sitting on top of another older canvas which I'm going to scrape anyway so I don't have too many problems with having this piece of foam board sitting on it. The bigger the piece of the foam board the more it wants to curve into the middle so I needed to have something that I could just rest the edges of my fingers against so I can move it around when I tilt it. Right now my colours today are metallic leaf green Copper, purple, and lavender. Neither, none of the colours have any dimethicone or um, silicone added to them. So I'm now going to put them, each, all the colours into the cup, and speed up my camera, of course, and then I will pour them onto the board. I've got all my colours ready to go. Quite a full cup. I much prefer to use way more paint than I need than not enough. Now, the edges of the foam board are starting to lift slightly from the sides because the um, paint is all sort of dampening the board. I know this is a problem with the foam board, but it's just something that I'm, I've got, I've got used to um, while I've been using it. So I'm just going to torch it now, get rid of some of the air bubbles. And then I'm going to get my comb and swipe it through. That's why I never added any white to the main colours because that is already on the board and when I use the comb I will be swiping through the white as well. I haven't done this for a while so I'm looking forward to doing this again. I'm going to be swiping very, very slowly but when I edit the video I will speed up the camera. I will speed up the video, sounds a lot better. Okay, I made my paints quite a bit thinner this time too, which um means that I didn't have to comb quite so slowly, but I could end up having a lot more mud. 
I usually make my paint, paint quite thick when I'm doing a comb swipe. These were leftover paints basically in my cupboard in jars. I've been having problems with the leftover paint that I've had in there for several weeks. Uh, not, um, not blending very well uh, when I put it to canvas. So I thought I'm going to try and get as many of these used up as I can. So um, I will now do a tilt and see if I can make some patterns. Okay, I'm getting the lacing on the edges. I'm not quite sure what's up with that because I did, as I said, I didn't put any um, dimethicone or silicone into my paint. Um, what I can think of is again the paints because uh, they've been sitting in my cupboard in bottles for weeks and weeks and weeks. Even though I have remixed them well and added water and uh, made sure that they were um, nice and smooth. They seem to be um, uh, not blending at all well. I've still got a few more colours in my cupboard which ultimately I will get out and um, put onto canvases just to use them up because otherwise it's such a waste. But they're going to have to be done separately as in this case so that I'm not wasting good mixed paint trying to get a um, pattern or a design uh, where the paints are not going to blend. So I'm actually going to take out the painting from underneath that and pick this up so that you can see it without the canvas underneath. Okay. It's certainly done some unusual patterns on the edges, but again, a lot of muddying. I love the colours, I love the purple. Ever since I was very young, the makers of Cadbury chocolate had the purple wrapper on it. And that always meant to me, that colour has always meant to me chocolate. And having the white in with it as well brings back a lot of good memories. I still love my chocolate, I just don't eat it as much as I used to. So I'll just give that another torch, because as I said, I saw some saw, saw a few bubbles still on it. But uh, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm, um, again, I'm just a little disappointed that these colours can't sit in the cupboard for a while without um, problems happening to them and of course probably putting them on the foam board hasn't helped either but um, I, while I'm practicing a lot of this which is what I'm doing um, I don't want to waste the good canvases and I have started doing some more scraping so I've got some more older canvases to use but um, in the meantime I'll use up the foam board since this is the purpose I bought it for but I won't be doing any more on the foam board this size. I'll cut it in half again so that it is the smaller pieces which seem to work better for me. I decided to finish off my day for painting. I would use up what I had in the way of leftover paint from my last pour, the one that I have just shown you on video. Um, I'm just going to tip it into the middle of this piece of foam board which I've already put my white surface down on and then I'm just going to use the blow dryer over it so I will when I edit the video I'll just add some music to it and then do what I enjoy doing most
I intend on leaving it just like that except I'm going to run the torch over it as I can already see quite a lot of bubbles and some cells coming through and I think the cells are actually from the turquoise that I've just added because um, I had that particular colour made up in my cupboard for a while and had used Floetrol to make it up which of course tends to make the natural cells but I think that is really pretty I'm happy with the way that has gone each time I use the hairdryer now I feel just a little bit more confident so that is it for me now for today my first picture was hmm okay I mean it's all practice for me and I needed to use up the colors um, I certainly wouldn't be using those colors again uh, but this one here just using the leftovers and adding a little bit of turquoise to it has just has just I think it's really pretty so once again thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you again next time